go on with your intro. Well, I'd like to start <clears throat> by saying that that hat really doesn't match that shirt. Better than the last one? No. Oh. No. Stepping on up. However, your microphone looks good. You fussed with it or what? Well, no, I need you to stop trying to look at it because no. you're gonna un you're gonna unmake it, right? Let me fuss with me, woman. Anyhow. We need them shirts. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push your BBS is coming. I know it. That's gonna be a crazy week. Actually, by the time this video drops, it'll probably be VBS week. Right. What have you been doing, Lynn? Come on. I know. I'm still anyway. over here in my fancy shirt. Hello and welcome to Abundance Rising Family, where our children never stop eating <laughs> and they make tons of noise in the background. Don't worry about them. Today we're going to talk about this guy. This is our Sunday special. Oh man, this has been rolling around up here for a couple of days. I've been really trying to think about how to articulate this because it's so it's such a complex, rich story that I'm hoping I can pack it into the time. Now I want to tell a story of when I had a roommate in the barracks. Now we were both from Arizona, okay? So we had a lot in common. <clears throat> Not really. I thought you were from Colorado. Yeah, well, I joined the army from Arizona. So he was in from Arizona. He lived there his whole life and a long, it's a long, complicated story. But you know, I never know what to believe. Me, me either. I'm hearing a lot of this for the first time. So um, he was 18 and 19, 20. We're both kind of in Arizona together. And he was part of a biker gang. And he's like, listen, man, um, I'm thinking that, you know, my gang kind of needs some new blood. And my motor's, my hog's in the shop. He goes, do you think you could take me down to, um, to the meeting tonight? And we can kind of give it a go. I mean, you're a pretty cool guy. I said, dude, you know, I'm not really into the gang thing. That's really not my jam. He's like, no, it's not really like a gang thing. I mean, we're kind of, you know, we're all just kind of hanging out. We have our beers. He goes, there is some important stuff that I'll tell you on the way there. Now, I got a premise story with I had a 93 Ford Tempo, and it was a stick shift car. And I wasn't the greatest at, right, at driving a stick. And it had a starter that would intermittently go out. It would just go out. And that's going to be very important later. <laughs> now, only the driver's side door open and the rear passenger side door open. It was a four-door car. And it That's was given to me. Story. That's a true story. It's white. I've seen that car. And one time we were riding on a road and the exhaust fell off. So I tied a tow strap to it. Scott will attest to this. And I tied it to a tree and I just drove off and ripped the exhaust out from it the car. And it sounded like it had a cam. It was and awesome. And what does Scott call that? <laughs> I don't know if he had a name for it. No, you do have a name for it, the two of you. <laughs> I, I don't know. What is it, Micah? Unplanned Rapid. Oh, Unplanned or Rapid. No, that was planned. I had it tied to a tree. <laughs> so unplanned Rapid, rapid disassembly. disassembly. Yeah, as I took the car. Okay, so. We're, we're riding down there, and he's like, listen, when we get to this club, there's a few rules. He goes, I'm kind of like next in line to be the leader. What is it with these rules and these I don't know, and then they expect me to follow them. They're like, you got to follow these rules. He goes, first off, everybody's got a nickname down there. That's a code name, okay? Because some guys might have warrants. You never know who you're going to run up against. It's just we got to keep the secret. He goes, I'm Viper. You need to think about your nickname when you get down there, your code name, and that's what we will call you. Come up with your own code name. Yeah, because it's kind of like your call sign, like your handle. He's like, what's your handle? And I was like, all right, I'm thinking about it. Now, my 93 Tempo was all in. We were driving down there. And, and he's like, the next thing is you're really defined by the drink you choose. It's a full bar. They can make anything. But, you know, I mean, keep it tough, man, like a Pabst Blue Ribbon or like, you know, a real strong whiskey. Something Who that's just, drinks Pabst Blue Ribbon? There's a guy. Anyway, <laughs> one of them down there did. He's like, you, I mean, it's t you are there. And I said, dude, you are looking at tough. If there's anything I'm proven over my other stories is that I am one of the toughest rascals you will ever run up against. I said, <laughs> Ghost Rider have been a good one. That would have been a good choice. Rider. That's not what happened. <laughs> like, Man, you have not run up against tough. Oh, he's like, all right, let's roll up there. Well, my 93 tempo, <laughs> something was wrong with the the belt tension or something, and that thing would scream like a banshee for no reason. So we pulled up, and this thing just lets out this ear-piercing scream, and everyone's looking. And uh, I open the, <laughs> open the door, and I try to shut it off, but it don't stop on its own. It's like, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, don't worry. It'll turn off when it's ready. Don't, don't push it. <laughs> so I get out. He gets out. We go into the bar, and they're like, hey, what's up, Viper? What's up? And he's like, oh, this is the new guy, man. I was telling you about him. Real tough guy. Um, come on in, man. And we sit down at the bar. And he's like, have you thought about a code name yet? And I said, you know what? There's this dude I know named Mark, man. And he gave me this code name. And it's all I can think of. And I, don't, it's, it's, I think it's tough. You didn't. And he's like, what is it? I said, it's Brohamsky Doodle Loodles. 
I said, I said, they call me Brohamski do the loodles. And you, you want to talk about disappointment on my friend's face, but it's a rule. And he's like, all right, man. He's like, are you serious right now? They like, this is Viper, dude. This is Pitman. This is Candyman and Cannibal. This is Caveman. Think about what you're doing right now. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> it was like, they call me Bohamsky Doodle Littles, dude. And it really, it's a tough name, man. And my friend Mark gave this to me. And you have to understand how powerful this is. <laughs> and they're, they're like, all right, man. And then, all right. And he had to be tough. He's like, you will call him Bohamsky Doodle Littles. If you like pina coladas. Okay, we're getting to that part. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> so we sit down and they're like, now, we, we started out kind of rough. Yeah, bro, I'm just going to do it a little. It's a lot. And it's weird, man. And I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a name for 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 Brahamski Doodaloos. Gonna... Could you just imagine if you leveled up there, <laughs> the top guy, the top guy, who's the leader of your game? Brahamski Doodaloos. <laughs> Something goes down in the town. You call Brahamski Doodaloos. <laughs> He'll come straighten you out, man. <laughs> I got no. How did this evolve? You know, we have bro. Everybody says bro. Yeah, yeah. And my friend, we were just talking. He's like bro ham, bro -ham. And then my friend Mark's like, dude, you're like a bro ham doodle loodles. You're on the next level. You're like a next bro, level. bro top. You are a bro, bro ham doodle loodles. And I'm like, solid, bro. I'm taking that. Were Everyone's you, laughing. I thought heard? it was a compliment. Were you drunk? No, I was running track. Oh. I mean, oh. I was always last, but whatever. Okay, so I was running track. And my friend Mark, he's like, Brohamski doodle littles. I was like, all right, cool. So we sit down and they're like, all right, step two, step one, your, your car just shut off. <laughs> and it was smoking. And I thought it was going to catch on fire, which would have been really embarrassing, but it didn't. And that's what it would take to embarrass you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's fine. I'm like, please don't burn. I got to get back to the barracks, man. I got, I got, I'm get, I mean, well, it's just not a good deal. So anyway, <clears throat> they're like, all right, so they're, they're whiskey sour. I want old fashioned. I want, I mean, this is some strong drink. They get to you and they go, What you want? And I said, Man, I only really like one drink, man. I mean, I'm kind of new to drinking. I was underage. I like pina coladas, man. Hey, did I call it or <laughs> and They're like, Yes. And the dude is like, What? Well, fancy dude, a little drink of the pina colada. I'm like, Dude, I'm going to be the top of this gang for sure now. Blended. I'm like, You got, yeah, sure. I'm like, Don't put it on the ice. You got to. Make it look like a, a smoothie. A slush. And I like it with the little umbrella, too. And you want to talk about, that dude was hurt. At this point, you can just see the rage starting to build. Like, he's turning red. And everyone's just staring at him. And all I hear, and I'm, I'm waiting for my drink, and it's taking a minute. And all I hear from the other side of the bar, is the bartender's on the phone, like, yeah, I got to make this drink for this guy named Blansky Dude a Little's. I don't know how to make a pink cola. <laughs> and I'm like. He said it was a full bar. He could make anything. You, no one's ever asked for a pina. They did not see that coming. They're like, bro, and then they would they would talk to me. They're like, um, <laughs> Sobranovsky, <laughs> where are you from? And I'm like, man, I'm I, I, it's probably a bad call on the name thing, huh? <laughs> they're like, no, man, it's total, totally fine. So the guy goes in the back and he gets, I guess he gets a talking to because it ain't, he comes out and it's not going well. He's upset now. I mean, if that part, and I, the, the guy that my friend that brought me, now I'm on my third or fourth pina colada and I'm having a ball. I'm singing. Oh, you figured out how to make them. Yeah, they finally figured it out. And I, I never had them with Jack Daniels before, but that's fine. Anyway, so <laughs> I got my pina colada. I, I don't I, even know what kind of like well, I mean, in a pina colada. You know, it's obviously not Well, Daniels. and then back then, um, that one song came on. It's like, baby, hit me one more time. I'm drinking my thing. I'm having a, well, I'm having a party. This is the kind of music that they play. I, you know, I don't know. I think they had lost all hope at that point. It was like a tough bike ride. <laughs> bike ride. <laughs> and I'm in there singing Britney Spears, and this Brohamski did a little drinking pina coladas, but I had the umbrellas in my hair. And I, but, you know, I got the abs and the long flowing hair. I'm like, you know, I'm just having a ball. Brohamski did a little is getting down. Long flowing <laughs> my, friend, my friend's like, we need to leave, man. This is real bad. And I'm like, all right, man, I've only had like three or four drinks. It should be fine. We'll get back to the don't drink and drive. I'm not. I'm never advocating that. They you were, didn't drive. Your buddy drove. Well, come to find out, there were virgin drinks later. Mm, I drove because I had the car had corks. So really? I yeah, yeah. So 
So I get in the car and I go to start it and the starter won't start. And everyone's outside the bar watching us leave. It won't Everybody's start. Everybody's outside praying you actually <laughs> They're looking at me. It won't start. And I'm like, I, I really hate to put you in this position, but this is a manual car and I'm going to have to pop the clutch. You're going to have to get out and <laughs> push it. And he's like, you get out and push it. I said, you don't know how to drive stick. I've got to do it. And he's like, all right. All right. So he had to like, he had to crawl over the back seat and get out of the back of the car. And we push it out back and he's pushing it. And it, I'm like, yeah, I'm revving it because I had my new exhaust kit because sure. I ripped it off. Right. Vroom, vroom, and they're like, Borhamski doodle Littles is legit. That's what I'm thinking. They're thinking in their head. And I'm like, <laughs> vroom, like vroom, vroom. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he gets in. <laughs> he had to get in the back seat and climb over. Right, because they're, they're working <laughs> it's really bad. He's getting lazy. He's the leader guy, right? He's the leader. Almost, I don't know. Almost the it's leader. almost the leader. You ruined it. Anyway, that. We, we start to take off, and, and I got a little excited, and I popped the clutch. The car died. So I look at him, and I'm like, I'm really sorry, but you're going to have to push it again. <laughs> and he, at this point, he's hot, man. He's like, he's like, are you kidding me right now? And I'm like, yeah, but this time, just jump in real quick. So, you know, you know, we'll spare you an embarrassment because in the car starting to smoke, it smoked from the bottom. Of course. <laughs> so They're supposed to do that. So he's pushing, I pop the clutch, and, I'm, and he jumps in, and the car's shaking, and it's, the door's hitting him. like, I'm in the car. <laughs> the door's hitting him in the legs. He climbs over top, and we're driving back to the barracks. And um, He should have just walked. He didn't say a word. He was just, I mean, you like, be, like beat red, like. You're trying to be the leader guy of the gang, and you bring Brohamsky Doodle Littles down there to drink some. Brohamsky Doodle Littles with the pina colada. Pina coladas. We get to the barracks, and I was like, I mean, I, I think it went fantastic. I mean, dude, you'll be the leader in no time, and I'll be like your second in command. It'll be like Viper and Brohamsky Doodle Littles. Yeah. And, and he's like, don't ever talk to me again. Like, ever. Like, if you see me, just don't talk to me. I don't want nothing to do with you. And I'm like, what happened? We're from Arizona, and it's fine. And I and I and I, and I was trying to be serious, but I still had the umbrellas behind my ear, like three of them. <laughs> I can't believe this. I totally came with my toughness. You brought the toughness. They just. I brought my. They had no respect. I brought my A game, dude. They had no respect. I brought my A game to this this situation. Anyway, he goes downstairs and he asks for another roommate. I never saw the guy again, but. That's when I really figured I wasn't cut out for gang life. That's a true story. It seems that most people who meet you then begin to question all of their life choices. <laughs> if you ever take me to a spot where you really want me to show out, don't do that. Why it turns, does anybody think that you can be I don't, He didn't know me good. And he's like, you know, we want some fresh blood. We need some tough guys. And I was thinking the whole way there. I was like, dude, the only thing I can think of is perhaps could do to little. That is the toughest name you could ever give a person. Sure.